Hey, hey everybody, Sean Hassel here with Get Lean and 12. If you're scrolling through your feed and you see this, stop by because we are going live in three, two, and one. So stop by, drop a comment below, let us know where you're from, and then if you're over 35 years old, make sure you pay very close attention to every word inside this video because I'm gonna share how men and women in their 40s, 50s, and 60s can optimize hormones and quickly lose belly fat in only 12 minutes per day. And this is something that I've coined metabolic zone training. And we use this system to reach well over 100,000 people across the globe. And today we wanna to share with you exactly how this works. So somewhere around this video, you're gonna see a link to click or tap. We're gonna learn about our system that we've created called the Over 40 Absolution. And inside this system, you're gonna learn about metabolic zone training. So up here on the board, you're gonna see three zones. You're gonna see prime, you're gonna see release, and you're gonna see burn. So I'm gonna teach you inside this video how to quickly reactivate and optimize hormones in only 12 minutes by entering these three zones. So you're gonna prime your hormones, you're gonna release hormones, and then you're gonna burn off stubborn fat cells. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this in a very simple way. So here you'll see the metabolic effect. Here you see the strategies that you'll use, very simple strategies to follow. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna talk about how to eat before you enter zone one and how to eat after you enter zone three. And this is very important because you can greatly increase the body's fat burning efficiency by just following a few simple pre-workout rituals and post-workout rituals. So inside this video, if you're over 35 years old, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use your body weight, no equipment necessary, the right intensity levels, the right rest periods, and the strategic movement patterns that have been shown to dramatically increase growth hormones. So what I'll do is any claims that I make inside this video, I'll post the references and the scientific studies below because you're gonna learn how you can potentially increase growth hormone 400 to 700% using this 12 minute protocol. And the reason this is so important because after age 35, growth hormone levels decline rapidly. This is a condition known as somatopause or growth hormone age-related deficiency. And I'm gonna show you how this 12 minute protocol can help you fight against this natural process that takes place after 35 years old. Now, when you click the link somewhere on this video, don't click it yet, because I have tons of great content I'm gonna share with you, but when you click it, you are going to learn about an inspiring story about my wife, who's 11 years older than me. She's 57, I'm 46. We have four beautiful grandkids, three are from her kids, and one is from my daughter, and we have another one on the way. And people often ask us how we look years younger than our real age, and it's all found inside of our over 40 absolution system. See, 10 years ago, my wife was diagnosed with colorectal cancer, and this forced her into early menopause and forced her body to accumulate a lot of upper belly fat. We called, we called it her menopause belly. And so as a fitness professional who's been in the industry over 20 years, I've been able to use this protocol to maintain about 10% body fat for over 10 years straight. So I'll post those pictures below as well. You'll see progress pictures. You'll also see them at our website, but don't click over there yet. The reason I'm sharing this with you is because I took this 12 minute protocol and refined it for my wife's current hormonal condition and it allowed her to eliminate her menopause belly. So you'll see her after picture on our website. So let's quickly dive in and talk about zones one, two, and three. Zone one is prime. And when I say prime, we wanna prime the body's number one storage hormone. It's called insulin. And when insulin is elevated, it makes it nearly impossible for the body to access fat as a fuel source. So before you move or exercise, you have to make sure that you flatline insulin. And there's two easy ways to do this. The first one is if you've eaten in the last couple hours, insulin is still gonna be elevated. So simply by going for a five minute walk before you move or exercise, this will help stabilize insulin levels so that the body can access stubborn fat cells more efficiently. The other thing that you can do is just go into the workout in a fasted state. So I'm gonna dive into great detail on this when I get to the nutrition part at the end of this uh, video, but just know that if you wait three to four hours after exercise or you do it in the morning upon waking up on an empty stomach, this will also mean that insulin is flatlined and the body will readily access fat as a fuel source more efficiently. So zone two is called release because after we prime your storage hormone insulin, now the body's in the perfect metabolic environment to release hormones that can help shrink stubborn fat cells, in particular adrenaline and growth hormone. 
So what we've done inside of our system is we've given you 20 to 60 second movement patterns along with strategic rest periods and intensity levels. And we provide modifications for anybody who has limitations. And again, it only requires your body weight. And when you engage in these 20 to 60 second movement patterns, it kicks up the body's fight or flight response. This is your sympathetic nervous system. So imagine you're in the woods and you see a bear and you take off sprinting. Well, your body's gonna release all kinds of adrenaline. We're mimicking this same effect as if you were chasing or running from a bear in the woods. And what happens is when adrenaline is released, it converts into hormones called catecholamines. And these catecholamines are responsible for releasing triglycerol from your fat cells into the bloodstream. And when they're released into the bloodstream, they're delivered to working muscles to be burned up. Now, this is me simplifying a very complex process, but this is how you shrink stubborn fat cells. So when you release adrenaline, it converts into the hormones that can help you shrink these fat cells. And you'll also potentially increase your growth hormone release 400 to 700% by engaging in our 20 to 60 second movement patterns. Remember, I'll post research and studies below so you know that I'm just making this stuff up. It's actually published in scientific journals. Now, you've entered zone two, you release adrenaline and growth hormone. Now you've released all this triglycerol into the bloodstream where it's converting to fatty acids and they're floating around and now they need to be burned. So zone three is burned. We need to burn them off because if we don't, you can suffer from something called re-esterification. See, because of the dramatic a hormonal shift that takes place as people reach their 40s, 50s, and 60s, the body can take the fatty acids floating around in your bloodstream from zone two, and it can restore them into other areas of your body. Now we call this fat defense for a simplification, but in the scientific exercise world, this is called re-esterification. And you wanna do everything in your power to stop fat defense and re-esterification. And a simple way to do this is just to walk or do steady state cardio for 10 to 30 minutes afterwards, and this will burn off these fatty acids and help you prevent the restoring of fatty acids and helping you shrink stubborn fat cells. So we're about halfway through this video. I want to know if I still got your attention. If you're getting something out of this, can you do me a favor? Give me some hearts. Give me some likes. If you're learning something, type yes in the chat box. If you know somebody over 35 wants to quickly lose belly fat and they're struggling, tag them in this post so they can benefit from this information. Now, before I dive into the nutrition aspects of this, I wanna share a couple things about this system to simplify it, because I know I'm covering a lot of content and a lot of details here. And I really wanna keep it simple and not overcomplicate it for you. So when you click the link somewhere around this video to learn about our system, you're gonna see several guides that you're gonna be introduced to. The main guide is over 100 pages and it can be a little overwhelming. So what we've done is I've condensed everything down into bare bones into a success tracker. The success tracker has the exact daily workout charts you need to follow, the exact movement patterns, rest periods, and intensity levels, and also has a step-by-step -step nutrition plan that you can use to keep the body in a fat-burning environment. So we've broken it all down. It's like a 14-page guide. So if you feel a little overwhelmed with this information and you want to get started today, all you got to do is go to the success tracker. The other thing I want to share uh, before I dive into the nutrition aspect is our partnership with Living Water International. So we've become very passionate about installing water wells across the globe in needy villages. And for three years in a row, my business partner Ryan and I have traveled down to Nicaragua and we installed water wells with needy villages. We became very passionate about this because these people are literally drinking contaminated water that the same, their farm animals are drinking, the cows are drinking, they're bathing in it, they're drinking in it, they're cooking it. So by the time we're done installing a water well, Living Water International educates them on the hygiene and the sanitation, follows up with them for years afterwards to make sure they maintain these wells. And it, you could literally potentially help us save lives by being a part of this amazing cause. Because for every person who grabs a copy of the Over 40 App Solution system, found at the link somewhere around this video, we're gonna give clean water to a needy child for 90 days. So last year, this might not seem like a lot, but last year we installed four water wells in the name sponsored by Get Lean and 12 through this cause in needy villages across the globe. And we, we raised almost $30,000. This year, our goal is to raise $250,000 and we need your help and we want you to be part of this amazing cause. So when you click the link somewhere on this video, you pick up a copy of our system. Not only will you get the success tracker to keep it simple, you'll donate towards a worthy cause and you have a 90 day money back guarantee. So there's absolutely no risk. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain from diving into our system 
except stubborn belly fat, of course. But before you click that link, let's talk about the nutrition for the pre-workout nutrition before you enter zone two and the nutrition for the post-workout nutrition after zone three. So the first thing is what I was mentioning earlier is that fasting for three to four hours after a meal and then entering zone two. That primes the, and flatlines insulin to get your body in an environment where it can efficiently access fat as a fuel source. Now, what do you eat three to four hours beforehand? My recommendation, if the goal is to quickly lose belly fat, is that you keep starches and fruits out of that meal. Remember, if you eat starches and fruit in that meal, it's still a healthy choice, and it's gonna give you energy before the workout, but it's gonna spike insulin higher and faster than proteins and fats. And when that happens, it takes the body out of a fat burning environment. So you want to make sure that you avoid starches and fruits about three to four hours before the workout if the goal is to quickly lose belly fat. If the goal is energy and performance, have some carbs. But if you want to quickly lose belly fat, have a protein and an oil or a friendly fat. And the reason I didn't use F for fat is because I don't want people to confuse it with fruit. So like a protein shake with a tablespoon of raw almond butter or a protein shake with a tablespoon of coconut oil. It's a great choice about three to four hours before diving into zone two. You could also have a lean protein source and some veggies. You could scramble up some eggs and throw some veggies in there. This is a great choice as well. Now you're giving your body the amino acids to fuel your muscle cells, but you're giving your body a meal that's balanced in a manner that won't spike insulin and blood sugar as high. So when you wait to three to four hours, you know for a fact that your body's in the perfect environment to access stubborn fat cells as a fuel source. Now the second strategy you can use is waking up in the morning on an empty stomach and engaging in our 12 minute movement patterns. And when you do this, we call it intermittent fasting. So there's two ways to do it. You'll see M here for men and W here for women. I recommend men use a 12 to a 16 hour fast and women use a 12 to a 14 hour fast, no longer than 14 hours if you're a female, just because of the hormonal differences. So an example for a man, if your last meal was at 8 p.m., you would try to wait till noon the next day. Now I know this sounds crazy that you're skipping breakfast, but Remember the word breakfast, break fast. So even if you're eating at noon, you're breaking your fast, you're still having breakfast. And research shows your metabolism won't slow down. Research shows you won't lose muscle. In fact, the exact opposite happens. When you fast for 12 to 16 hours like this, if you're a man or 12 to 14 hours, if you're a woman, what ends up happening is you almost mimic the same exact effect as zone two because you're not eating the body's fight or flight response kicks up and the sympathetic nervous system kicks up. And research shows that when you fast like this, not only is insulin and blood sugar stabilized so the body can release more fatty acids, you're also gonna release more growth hormone during your fasted window. And again, I have a ton of research backing that up at our website and I'll post the studies below as well. So if you're a woman, again, 12 to 14 hours. So last meal at 8 p.m. Next day, don't eat till 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and fast that 12 to 14 hours to get that metabolic effect to keep the body in a fat burning environment. Now, let's talk about what you eat afterwards. So my recommendation on what to eat after you're done entering zone three is nothing. I recommend that you have water for 60 to 90 minutes. Now, if you have sugar issues or you haven't been cleared by your doctor to exercise or any other medical condition or you're on high blood pressure medication, any of this type of stuff, talk to your doctor before you do any of this and make sure that you're eating right afterwards. However, if you're healthy, you've been moving a little bit, and your goal is to quickly lose belly fat, you wanna ride the fat burning wave for about 60 to 90 minutes after you're done because your body has just got done releasing this adrenaline and growth hormone, and these hormones will continue to work their magic after the workout. Remember the EPOC, the afterburn of 38 to 48 hours. So let these hormones work their magic for 60 to 90 minutes. Then go ahead and feel free to have a starch or a piece of fruit with some protein. And it's important that you have the protein to fuel the muscles. But this is the time post-workout within the two to three hours after your 12 minute movement patterns, your body is going to replenish glycogen from the carbs that you eat in muscle and liver tissue. See, when you're done with this, these 12 minute protocols, the muscles are like a sponge that's been wrung dry. So the liver and muscle tissue is very depleted of energy called glycogen. So this is the time where you can get away with eating lots of your favorite carbohydrates and not storing them as fat because your body's gonna be busy replenishing depleted muscle and liver glycogen. So a protein in a starch or a protein in a fruit 60 to 90 minutes afterwards. So there you have it, an introduction to metabolic zone training and you'll see and learn all about it at the link somewhere around this video. And before I sign off, 
and let you know how much I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to check this out, I want to make one more promise to you, and that is this. If you take just 5% of your time per week, whether you grab a copy of our system or you don't, I don't care. Just use this information, apply it in your life, and apply the nutrition strategies. If you do this and just spend 5% of your time focusing on this, it will leak over into every other area of your life in a positive way. When I was first runner-up grand champion in the Body for Life contest, it was amazing to have six-pack abs for the first time in my life, but that was nothing compared to the life changes that had happened. I had joint legal custody rights of my daughter that I hadn't seen for over three years. I paid off all my debts. I mended broken relationships. I landed a new career. And it was all because I spent 5% of my time focusing on these things because my wife, Karen, and I both know that when we do that, we're better spouse to each other. We're better parents and mentors, leaders to our kids and our grandkids. We're more focused and driven in our career and we're more fulfilled and productive in all areas of my our life and my hope and prayer is that you experience the same thing by grabbing a copy of the over the absolute system lastly time time is our most precious commodity so i want to thank you for taking time out of your busy day to check this out i'm extremely grateful have an awesome day and keep going strong